Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I'm going to focus on chemotherapy for those men with metastatic prostate cancer who have had progressive disease. Now, prior to considering chemotherapy, many men may be eligible to receive immunotherapy with Provenge. That treatment is used for asymptomatic or minimally, minimally symptomatic men. If they progress following that, or if they're not a good candidate, then chemotherapy is the next option to offer. And that would depend on several factors, how fast the cancer is progressing, and also how a man feels, because there are side effects associated with this type of chemotherapy. So it turns out to be a trade-off. But there are advantages and there are potential disadvantages, and knowing about them will help you decide what to do. There have been two well-done studies that have evaluated a drug called docetaxel, or taxotere, for the treatment of men with progressive metastatic prostate cancer. The studies resulted in the FDA giving approval for this chemotherapy because it does improve survival. So first let's talk about study number one. In this study, men were receiving either docetaxel plus prednisone, or they were receiving two other drugs, which is the control group, a drug called mitoxantrum. And in that study, the results are shown on the following slide, in which the comparison was made in survival. So what we see here is the following. Half of the men receiving the docetaxel combination lived for 18.9 months, and that compared to 16.5 months in the control group. So there was about a 2.4 month difference in the survival of half the patients by getting the docetaxel treatment. Now, the second study, the results of that are shown on the next slide. In that study, the median survival was as follows. With the mitoxantrone and prednisone was the control group that had a survival of 15.6 months and compared to the docetaxel and a drug called estramustine, the survival of half the patients was 17 and a half months. So there, there was about a two month difference in survival. So comparing these two studies, it does appear that the use of prednisone with docetaxel may give better results compared to docetaxel plus estramustine. Also, some of the side effects may be worse with the estramustine treatment. The docetaxel is administered intravenously about every three weeks, and the prednisone that they would receive, or the estramustine, would be given as an oral agent. And so we do have this evidence for a significant improvement in survival. It's not a home run, but keep in mind that some men may get a much greater benefit than the numbers that I just reported. It depends on many factors, and there's no way to predict for sure who will get the best response. Now, an important thing for you to also be aware of are the potential side effects that occurred with this treatment compared to, to the control. And if we look on the very next slide, we see the complications associated with the treatment of docetaxel and prednisone. Compared to the placebo, fevers occurred slightly more often, fatigue occurred in 53% of the treatment group compared to 35% of the placebo. Hair loss was reported by 65% of those receiving the docetaxel compared to 13% in the placebo. Diarrhea was 32% compared to 10%. And sensory changes in the skin were 30% versus 7%. And lastly, edema was 19% versus 1%. We do know that chemotherapy does have potential side effects, and so it always becomes a trade-off. But despite this, it still looks like quality of life does improve in those men who are getting the docetaxel chemotherapy. Now, if we look at the other study in which estramustine was combined with docetaxel, the complications and side effects of serious ones are shown in the following slide. We see that Fevers occurred in 5% of those on the active drug compared to placebo. Cardiovascular events occurred in 15% of those getting the drug versus 7% in the control group. Nausea and vomiting was reported by 20% compared to 5%.
and neurological changes were 7% versus 2%. So where does that leave us? Where does that leave you? If you are a man who is faced with progressive disease, you do have an option that has the benefit of offering an improvement in survival. This is not a home run, as I said, but it does offer another way to help treat this disease. We do have other things that are coming along. A drug called abiraterone is another agent that was recently approved for men that have progressed after docetaxel. And there are studies that have been recently completed testing it, even giving it before chemotherapy. There are also some other agents that are nearly ready for approval and they will be discussed at another time. The bottom line is we do have things to offer men that have progressive metastatic prostate cancer and I hope you find this information to be helpful for you. Thank you for watching.